Here at Game Ready and Washington Kids Foundation, we talk a lot about being ready for game time. All you frontline workers, you stepped up and performed when it was game time. Thank you. Thank you to all the healthcare workers out there that are uh, continuing to go to work right now and helping everyone through this pandemic. It's awesome of you guys. Um, and you guys are the real heroes. Thanks. A big shout out to the frontline workers who's uh, risking their lives day in, day out to uh, help us and help everybody uh, fight this uh, disease the right way and um, the, safe, the safest way possible. I want to give a big shout out and thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to, to the frontline workers, the nurses and doctors who are working on the front line. We got the easy job. We just got to stay inside, keep ourselves all together. They're on the front lines exposing themselves and fighting for us. So a big thank you to you guys. I also want to thank the Washington Kids Foundation and Game Ready Fitness for putting this together so we can get the community active even while we're all inside and doing these workouts and getting all the professional athletes out. So let's all do our part and once we're all past this time, we'll all be thankful for it. Thank you. Again, I want to wish you guys are all good, all safe, and take care. I'll see you guys again later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Gradarshan St. Lion Manget, one championship mixed martial artist, someone that's been working with the Game Ready team and the Washington Kids Foundation for a very long time. We're in a crazy time right now with this whole COVID-19. We've got to do what we can. We've got to do our part. We've got to take care of ourselves and our family and taking all the precautions from washing our hands, wearing the mask, being aware of what's around you and what you're exposing yourself to. These are times that we'll get through, but right now we got to work with what we got, and that's what we're gonna be working with today. I'm gonna to be doing a home, kind of an MMA workout. A lot of shadow boxing, a lot of boxing, a lot of kickboxing and stuff. Something you can do with, your, uh, with yourself, with your family, with your friends, in your living room at home. So we're gonna get started with that. We're gonna get started with a quick warm up. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with a good warm up real quick. We're gonna stretch out the shoulder rotator cuff. So this is kind of an interesting one that I learned in Montreal. You have your arms out, you have one hand upwards, and you look at that hand, and as you're looking to the other hand, as it switches, your head follows with it. This kind of warms up all your rotators and stuff like that, so you really kind of stretch this back. So I'm looking over here, as I turn it, I stretch it back again. It's a good one before you do boxing and stuff, so it really kind of stretches out all the tendons and stuff. So we're gonna do five each side of this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So it really kind of shakes it out, okay? And just kind of, kind of do circles right here. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. I really like to focus on rotator cuffs and stuff because that's where a lot of injuries for fighters come, for a lot of athletes all together come. So you always wanna warm up your shoulders because they're connected to your chest, your triceps, your biceps. So we're gonna go from here, and I'm gonna turn it back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, we're just gonna shake it out. Now, it's kind of a fun one that I like to do, and some of you guys have probably seen this one on TV, is you're kind of whipping your arms around, okay? So this kind of warms up your core, and the whole point is for you to see where your power is coming from. It should be coming from your core, it shouldn't be coming from your arms. So you should never be punching like this. This isn't power. Power is coming from your stomach. So from here, what your goal here is, you're trying to move your core where your arms are loose, and they kind of whip across. If they're not whipping, then you're not doing your core strong enough. So I'm just gonna have my hands here. We're gonna do five each side. So you go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you gotta really kind of move your core. Okay, shake it out. Okay, now we're gonna go back into squats. We're gonna do ten squats, just get the hamstrings and everything warmed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna kind of just do footwork real quick. Just shuffles, Ali shuffles back and forth. Okay, move your feet harder. Have your hands up. If you feel advanced, move your hands forward. Pushing them, pushing them, pushing them. Going back and forth, going back first, you'll be burning your calves, your feet, especially if you haven't done this before. 
They might start kind of putting knots in your feet, so these are things you gotta train, okay? Move your body back and forth. Okay, now from there, we're just gonna be warming up the core and everything, so we're gonna be moving back and forth in a, in a linear way. So you're gonna be moving, you probably see Mike Tyson do this if you've ever seen some of his training. Moving back and forth with your feet, so you're trying to build coordination. One thing I don't wanna see is, I don't want the back foot ever crossing over the front foot. Okay, this is just a movement, stay low, hands up, and you're just moving. Just moving, just moving. Now back, back foot moves first, and moving. Moving into course, right here. Okay, from here, now let's add the one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So these are also good extra, but they're also good um, technique things to do also. Nothing more important than head movement. Okay, from there, shake it out. Let's grab a quick, quick drink of water and get ready for the first set. So one of the most important things is having a strong base and your base comes from your core, your legs, your core. So we're gonna be focusing on that a lot. There's gonna be a lot of static holds and there's gonna be dynamic exercises mixed in. So you wanna do some static holds, so just planks. We're gonna start with 15 or 20 second planks, so we're just gonna be holding it. If you feel advanced, you can move your arms, you can have one arm, so I'll show you guys versions of it. So from here, this is a basic one, keeping your hips aligned, keeping everything. If you're more advanced, you can have one hand out. If you're really advanced, you have the opposite foot out. Bring it down. One arm if you want to do it on this side. Two arms or one leg straight out. So those are kind of the versions of it. Once you kind of start getting more active with it, you can also add one more advanced version of this. It's where you're doing the push-ups at the same time, holding it. So you want to be very aware of having a strong stomach right here. You want moving it. Push-ups right here. If you want to start with just a starting, just hold it, 30 seconds. Keep your mind strong here. The biggest thing is keeping your mind strong, not staying distracted, having the willpower to fight through this, fight through the pain, fight through the burn. That's one of the most important things here. Breathe. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go 10 to 15 seconds of mountain climbers from right there. So you're gonna take a quick deep breath, loosen it up, and we're going into mountain climbers. Going from a plank, straight into a mountain climbers here. Ready? So we're gonna go 15 seconds here. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now from here we go back into the plank. That's where it should start burning now. You're doing dynamic exercise, wet static holds. This is where things burn because your muscles get confused on what they're doing. So from right here, you gotta remember the versions. You hold it, keep your core strong, keep your mind strong. Five more seconds. Yeah. From here, let it loose. Stretch it out. Now we're going straight into those mountain climbers for the second set. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. So that run through two times is one set. You're gonna do two to three sets wherever you feel comfortable. Try to push the set limit. Try to keep your body strong. That builds the core in a firm spot if you wanna get a flat. And then it builds strength by doing mountain climbers, getting it all compressed for the power that you're gonna build. Okay, so this is more of a technical exercise, but you can turn it into something fast. The way you're gonna do is you're gonna stand uh, facing forward, wherever you are, you're gonna turn one side, okay? So if you're facing this way, you're gonna face this way, it doesn't really matter. Your lead leg is your jab hand, your back one is across, go one, two, then you're gonna bring it over, one, two, bring it over, one, two. So if you guys notice, you're turning from orthodox to southpaw, orthodox to southpaw. It's a good technique to get comfortable in both stances. So advanced fighting would be, being able to fight just as well on both sides, just like this, okay? So what we're trying to do is, a good exercise kind of get coordinated with that. Stand like this, pick one side, one, two, so I'm orthodox, southpaw. Orthodox, southpaw. Orthodox, southpaw. Once you start getting more advanced with that, feel free to add a knee, feel free to add a hook. So from here you go, one, two, knee, 
switch, one, two, knee, switch, one, two, knee. So basically I'm practicing fighting at both stances right now without really even knowing it. It's an easier way of doing it than standing like this and then getting confused and standing on the other side, especially if you've trained one way for a long time. It's hard to get started on the other side. But this is a way to almost kind of fool your brain without it knowing uh, what it's doing. So I'll be just standing around sometimes for a warm up and I'll just start doing it. One, two, knee, boom. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. And then you can start adding other punches that you know. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three. So now you just learned a one, two, three with the knee on both sides. And once you keep doing it, your brain kind of gets repetitive on it and starts learning how to do it more. So you just keep adding on punches till you get comfortable. Then when you're shadow boxing, which is a very important thing, shadow boxing for people that don't know, is basically just fighting an imaginary person in front of you. It's actually a very important exercise. It's actually, people that don't know fighting will find it weird. They're just kind of standing around throwing punches, but it's a very good visualization exercise while you're doing it. You gotta be, you're not just throwing punches just for the hell of throwing punches. I literally picture an opponent in front of me throwing something and I'm ducking and I'm seeing how I'm gonna retaliate and then if I want to switch, he comes on to this side. So I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm visualizing. That's what shadow boxing is. So if you're around their house, just throwing punches, visualize something like you're, like you're actually shadow boxing and fighting somebody. So that's one. That's a great exercise right there. Just kind of moving around, getting loose, right? Seeing something, you're fighting. Shadow boxing is a great cardio workout. Put on a sauna suit or something. Put on some sweaters. Turn up the heat in your house. It's something I do every morning is I put on a sauna suit, I put on something, I just shadow box and watch the sweat you build. It's just as good as running on a treadmill depending on how quick and fast you do it. So I'll be really doing it just like I'm fighting an opponent. So boom, boom. I'll be moving my footwork, just moving my combinations, picturing it. Here he comes with this punch, slip. Here it comes with more, I slip, counter. These are all things that, so they're not random things I'm throwing out. These are things that I'm visualizing to build instincts in my brain. For now, for you guys, work on just the basics of being able to fight in both stances. This is a very hard technique in itself. You can go to some pro fighters that have been fighting for years, never thought of fighting in both stances, and they won't be able to do it. So start rewiring your brain, and it's one of the toughest things, so do it anytime. If you're standing in the kitchen, you could do it. Something pretty easy to do. You're just building repetition, rewiring it through your brain. So try that. Thank you guys for tuning in to this. Thank you guys for sharing the workout, doing the workout, pushing yourself during these crazy times. I just wanna thank everyone that is uh, the frontline workers especially. We need to give a lot of love to that, to all the frontline nurses and doctors and everybody that's working tirelessly. Those are the heroes right now. Those are the people trying to contain this. All we have to do as our part is stay inside, do our part, keep clean, social di distancing, quarantine ourselves, and try to get through this. They're doing all the hardest work part of this. So let's give them props on that. Always give thanks to the frontline workers. And thank you to uh, the Washington Kids Foundation, to the Game Ready Fitness crew, to everybody that's part of this and making these videos and making these workouts so we can keep everybody outside in the community active. It's an amazing thing we're doing. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Hope you had a great workout. And remember, hard work pays off.